Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, please bear witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And some people not even subscribers but I still make the video for them, completely fine with that, just a like button that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have any courses to sell, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel, including the calls and everything. So it's a win-win situation, and I'll let you decide, and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out, if it didn't, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to help you out. And here I am again, back with another requested video, as always, which is how to change the header box button color on your Shopify store. And we will do that by actually changing both the border color and the actual text color and the hover color as well. So no worries, it's all in one video. And it's the same code as well, and I did add comments so you can see each color for a specific reason so you can customize it however you want. So if you want to change the banner box, I mean the header border color, this video will help you out. If you want to change the actual text color on it, this video will help you out. If you want to change the whole button background color, this video will help you out as well. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard in here. They have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on because it's the most used one, also it's the most requested one from subscribers. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify most used teams, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try my calls behind the scenes on all of these teams. And I don't do that in the videos, so I don't bore people, because it's gonna be like a half hour video to test them on all of these teams. Before I start recording this video you're watching right now, I did actually try it on all of these teams to make sure even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine and i just have to say this in the beginning so i give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team you might be thinking oh maybe it's not working for the others no it is and here is your peace of mind and without the way let's just get to it and show you how to resize uh shot sorry change the color for this guy right here the hover color the border color as well as the background color so if you are interested in anything that you see in the shopify store because this is the shopify store the where i do all the tricks so every little thing on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials, literally everything. So if you saw anything in the Shopify store that you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel. Because once it's here, that means it's already done on one of my previous videos. Because I don't remove the changes from here, I keep them so people can see them. And I will do the same for this video as well. So obviously we need to change the color for this guy right here. We will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store teams, then click on the three dots from left of customize and click on edit code. And after that, it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, use the search bar at the top left corner and they have to repeat this for the million times. It's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css and some rarely custom made teams it's gonna be custom.css. But mostly they use base or, or taste, sorry, base or style or team. Most of the free ones they use base. I'm gonna type in base. Here it is base.css. Click on it. A bunch of CSF code will show up. Scroll all the way down. Let me drag this. If you are interested in removing the scroll bar from your Shopify store, I already made that video as well. So after that, in here, you might not find some space in here. To create that space, simply click front of the last thing, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? As always, from the description box. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named this code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page right here with this beautiful code. And as I said, each color, I have comments in front of it so you can see what does it for and what the color is for. So this one is the background color, button background color, button border color, and button text color every little thing this one's on the hover once you hover over it and this last one here here for the some customization 
if you have some customization already done, make sure to include this code. Even if you did include it and you don't have a customization, it won't do anything, just in case to, to fix some issues. So select the whole code in here. I'm gonna keep this as well. I'm gonna select it as well, right click and copy. And by the way, this is a color if you don't know. If I Google this like this, as you can see, this is a color. So simply play around with the widget till you get the color you want, then copy uh, the hex code from here. This is called a hex code and replace it in the color you want. Easy. Then get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create at the bottom of the file. After that, we will click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds, get back in here, reload the page, and here it is, as you can see, text color changed, border color changed, background color changed. If I hover over it, it does show different colors, as you can see. So it's a mess here, but <laughs> play around with the colors to get a clean design. Not like me, I'm bad at this. And why are you still watching me? That's how you <laughs> change the banner, box, button, color on your Shopify store. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.